Shipping containers are manufactured in different shapes and sizes. Despite the differences, containers can be broadly categorized by usage, age, or size. In this video, we are going to analyze the different types of shipping container sizes with case studies of the best examples of shipping container homes built with different container sizes from around the world. Without further ado, let's get started. The first container size we are looking at is the 10 foot container. This is the smallest standard size shipping container measuring 10 feet long, 8 feet wide and 8 feet high with a storage capacity of 80 square feet. 10 foot containers are intended for small storage applications and therefore they may not be ideal for building container homes per se. For commercial applications, the 10 foot cubes can be used as guard houses, shop stalls or site offices. For domestic applications, a 10 foot container can be an amazing backyard office such as the Mobo model by Honomobo made from a third of a shipping container transformed into a beautiful light filled office space. In addition, 10 footers can also be converted into a barbecue shack as a creative addition to the house backyard or poolside to enjoy your favorite roast or drink with friends. Furthermore, the 10 foot cube can also be used as a sauna in a beautiful box with an outdoor shower to complement the poolside or an additional accompaniment for an Airbnb rental. Number two is the 20 foot container. This is the second most popular shipping container size used for building homes. The 20 footers are highly adoptable because of their high mobility and portability due to their size. The average external dimensions for a 20 footer are 20 foot long, 8 foot wide and 8 foot 6 inches high with 160 square feet of floor space. In cargo architecture, 20 foot containers are popular for building granny flats, guest house cabins, Airbnb rentals which are housed inside the 160 square feet of container floor space. For larger projects, several models can be combined to create more floor space like the popular HO2 model by Honomobo which is built as a contained space created by stitching together three 20-foot shipping containers to create 480 square feet of habitable space. Alternatively, 20 footers can be used as recontained spaces like in the Odoneta Resort in Texas where the cottages are built in a duplex style using five shipping containers in a block. The third container size is the 40 foot container. 40 foot containers are the most popular shipping container type for building homes because of their spatial advantage over their 20 foot counterparts. The 40 foot length gives more flexibility with options to partition the shipping container midway to create additional rooms. The average external dimensions for a 40 footer are 40 foot length, 8 feet wide and 8 foot 6 inches high with a floor area of 320 square feet. They also come as high cubes with 9 foot 6 inches high. High cubes are the most preferable shipping containers for construction of homes because of the extra 1 foot in height that gives more room for insulation and plumbing under the ceiling without compromising on the headroom of the interior space. 
40 footers can be used as livable spaces inside the container, ideal for studio setup like the most ubiquitous container guest house studio in Antonio, Texas, partitioned to create a private bathroom space. For larger projects, several modules can be combined as contained space like the Containers of Hope project in Costa Rica built by combining two 40-foot shipping containers which were shared horizontally to create a dynamic floor plan. The most popular approach to create bigger spaces is by creation of recontained space around more than one container, especially for bigger residential projects like the Denver-based firefighter who converted nine shipping containers into a massive 3,800 square foot modern home with eight bedrooms and several bathrooms, which is used as an amazing Airbnb available for rental. The next container size is the 45 foot container. This size of container is not as popular as the 20 foot and 40 foot containers. Most 45 foot containers are high cubes with nine foot high ceilings and five feet extra length with a large floor area measuring 343 square feet. The most notable feature on the 45 foot containers is the double corner castings, which enable the containers to be fit on a 40 foot trailer and to be stacked with 40 foot containers during shipping. The castings are positioned at 40 foot length and 2.5 feet extensions on either side of the container. Because of their larger size, these containers are mostly used combined or stacked with other modules to create a larger contained space like the amazing rim house in northern Arizona which was built using three 45 foot shipping containers to create an amazing modern home with the frontal deck that spans the entire elevation with amazing views of the undulating landscape. The first container size is the 53-foot container. 53-foot containers are the largest mass-produced shipping container sizes available. Just like the 45-foot containers, they are high cubes with 9-foot ceilings and 13 feet extra length with a larger floor area measuring 416 square feet. The most notable feature on the 53 foot containers, just like their 45 foot counterparts, is the double corner castings to enable the container to be fit on a 40 foot trailer and to be stacked with 40 foot containers. The castings are positioned at 40 foot length and 6.5 feet extensions on either side of the container. 53 foot containers are limited in availability and the larger size of these modules is ideal for single story container homes like the pre-made 53 which is an amazing holiday home in Canada that was made using a single 53-foot shipping container with lots of glazing and lined interiors, creating a stunning and modern holiday home in the woods. The last container size is based on its width rather than length. It is the 10-foot wide container. Standard shipping containers are normally 8 foot wide. However, there are special types of containers which are wider than the standard wide containers. The extra width is generally 1 meter wide than the standard container measuring 3.4 meters wide. The most notable feature on the extra wide containers is also the double corner castings which enables the container to fit on a standard 8 foot wide trailer and also to enable the modules to be stacked with standard width containers during shipping. The castings are positioned at 8 foot wide and 1.5 feet wide extensions on either end of the container.
Most of these containers are manufactured for special purposes as custom container modules. An Australian modular homes company, Nova Deco, uses this type of extra wide container modules to build modern homes like the Valencia prefabricated modular home which was built using two adjoining pods partly offset to provide a wide open living space in the middle and two bedroom wings each with its own private bathroom in more than 85 square meters of habitable space. The final product is an amazing modular home with amazing exterior finishes, additional outdoor space, and intimate indoor spaces. With these five size categories of shipping containers, you should be able to purchase the appropriate container size for your project based on the detailed presentation as given. Which other container size should we have included in this presentation? Kindly give us your opinion by posting in the comment section below. If you like this presentation, you are encouraged to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we feature amazing shipping container information and case studies of amazing shipping container projects from around the world. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.